What's going on everybody, David here. Today we're gonna to talk about the Stimulus Check IRS portal. It's fully operational now, so we can go ahead and take a look at it. But first off on this channel, we talk about personal finance and traveling on a budget. That sounds like something interesting to you. Please hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the little bell notification so you can get future updates on my videos. Okay, before we take a look at the website, this is for filers. So if you filed your taxes in 2018, 2019, and you wanna check the status of your stimulus check, you can check it on this in this portal. Uh, also, if you wanna add information, so let's say you're getting a check mailed out to you, but you don't want to have a check mailed out to you. You want to have the bank routing information changed so they can route it right to your bank and not have to send you a check. That's what this is for. It is Wednesday, April 15th. Most people have already received their checks. This does not apply to those people. You don't need to check a status if you've already received it. But for people who have not received theirs yet, through direct deposit and they were expecting it through direct deposit that's where you want to go on here and check to check your status to make sure that it that it's coming and that they're not going to be sending you a check so let's go ahead and take a look here now i will go through most of this i'm not going to go through the very end of it as far as all the the other stuff i'll show you the front page um, the reason i don't want to back up the, the system, okay? It's pretty self-explanatory how you can get through this, uh, navigate through it. I'll tell you the documents that you need, but I don't wanna be one of the people that's holding this whole thing up, so we're not gonna do that. So let me just show you here, this is the, the front page, the IRS, irs.gov forward slash coronavirus. That's where you need to go. And I always tell people, start from the beginning and then work your way through clicking on the links through the IRS website. Don't just click on a link that will take you directly to the the application process because you might not be going to the actual IRS website. You might be going somewhere else. So I always tell people, start with irs.gov forward slash coronavirus. I'll post a link in the description and then work your way through it. That way you're, you know that you're on the right website. You're not giving someone else your bank routing information or someone else your, your, your personal information, your social security number and all that. Okay, so we're here now. So let's go ahead and click on the economic impact payments. That's where we wanna go. Okay, so it'll bring you to this site now. We've seen this before and before this, we could click on this, but we could not click on this section here. But now we're able to click on this section. So, so on the left side here, this is for non-filers, people who did not file 2018, 2019 uh, because they didn't make enough income, so they didn't file. They can do a simple form on the left side. On the right side, that's what we're gonna be focused on today. So now you can say, get my payment. Now, looking on here before, you wanna look at all the information they're saying here. Check your payment status. So this is if you wanna check your payment status, if you wanna see when is that check coming in. Confirm your payment type for direct deposit or check. So if you wanna receive the check still, you just wanna confirm that they have your correct information, you can do that. Also, if you wanna add your direct deposit information, you can do that as well. Okay, so the third thing they address here, so enter your bank account information for direct deposit if we don't have your direct deposit information and we haven't sent your payment yet. Now, this is very important. If they've already sent your payment, uh, via direct deposit, maybe to another bank account, you wanted to change it to a different bank account, it's too late. There's nothing that you can do at that point, and they're not gonna allow you to enter any information because they will already have in the system showing that they've sent your direct deposit out. Uh, so unfortunately, if, you, if it's going to another bank, and I know that this was a question uh, that someone had, let's say you were in a relationship and you had a joint bank account, and now you want that you wanna change that routing information to another bank. If they've already processed it, you're not gonna be able to receive that uh, that check. It's gonna to go to that same bank account. So they're not gonna even let you uh, make any changes. All right, so we're here now. We'll go ahead and click on the get my payment and then we'll see what happens here. Now, this, and, I, and I went on, I've gone on the system earlier just to kind of see how things work and it is slow. So just be aware of that. Uh, I'm shooting this video very, very early in the morning on April 15th. Now. I would imagine later on in the afternoon, it's probably gonna be, it might even be shut down. So uh, just be prepared for that. You are gonna have to wait a little bit of time. Let's go through some of this stuff here. Okay, so this is the information that the portal will give you. You can check your payment status. You can check your payment type and whether we need more information or not. So like your bank writing information and all that. So that's what they're gonna let you know once you go through the portal. Okay, so things that you may need. You're gonna need your 2018 or your 2019 tax return. Okay, they're, they're gonna, they wanna know information. If you wanna do your bank routing and change, change your address and all that, they need to know some information in order for you to do that. So they're gonna need to know your adjusted gross income. So that's, that's one thing they need to know and your banking information in order for them to verify that you're the, the correct person so they can give you that information 
or allow you to put your address and stuff in there. So, okay, let's go ahead and hit the get my payment. Okay, so you, on this page, you just have to click the OK so you can move forward. And this is for authorized use only, right? So it should be you that's doing this, not someone else. Uh, now, this brings up the front page, and I'm going to leave it here. I'm not going to go any further, but I will talk a little bit about what happens. Uh, so basically, you're going to put in your Social Security information, your uh, date of birth, your address, and then your zip code. Okay, you need to make sure you get this stuff right. Okay, if you do not get it right, it's going to tell you that you got it wrong. If you do get it wrong three times, they will lock you out for 24 hours. Okay, so you need to make sure you do this right. Uh, so... Uh, once you enter that information, then you'll be able to check the status of your stimulus check, right? You'll be able to see all we have is your address information. So we're going to have to mail it out to you. So if you want to make changes, you can go ahead and, and change it and put your banking information. So you'll see that. Then you can click on the link there. And then that's when they're going to ask you for some additional information as far as your adjusted gross income. So that's when you'll have to have your tax form. Uh, but that's pretty much it. It's not that hard to navigate through once you get in there. But like I said, make sure you put in that re the correct information because if they do lock you out, unfortunately, you're going to have to wait for 24 hours in order to get back in the system. Uh, so... That's something that, that you don't want to do, okay? So make sure you're putting in the correct information. If you get it wrong the first time, double check. And then if you get it wrong the second time, I don't know. Make sure you just, everything has to be exact. Uh, if you guys have any questions, please post it down below. Just wanted to give you guys a quick little video. The portal is up so you guys can go over and check it out. I did say that I was going to uh, give you some information on that. I'll be uh, doing some uh, daily videos too, just on some different things when it comes to stimulus checks. The Social Security, uh, SSDI, that stuff will be coming out hopefully next week. People in those categories will start receiving their payments then. Uh, so that's all I have for you guys. Like I said, any questions, comment down below. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe for more and I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye.